Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I thought I would show you some gel printing and using the tree and leaf stencil from the October 2020 Stencil Club. So this stencil has two pieces. It has the main piece that has the leaves and the tree silhouette, and then you have the tree with the actual branches in here. I have a 12 by 12 gel plate and what I'm doing is I'm laying in the insert of that gel, the tree, onto the gel plate. So both stencil pieces are now on here. I did that because I want to gel print the leaves that are on here and then I'll lift up the stencil but I want this stencil to remain in place so we're going to begin by adding a little bit of paint I don't want a lot because I just need to fill in these holes where the leaves are so I've just put a little bit of paint on here I'll add a little bit of some orange Oop, that was a lot of orange, just a little bit of yellow. There we go. I'll use my brayer to brayer this out. And since there's a little bit of a glob here in my paint, I'm just going to lift it with a wet paper towel so that it doesn't smear it around too bad. All right, I've got a scrap of paper over here to the side. And I'm just going to come in here and brayer this. I'm trying to be careful and only get where the leaves are and not where the tree is. All right, so I've smeared the paint all the way around. I will go ahead and lift up the base of the stencil carefully. And I'll put this in my bucket of water that I have over here to the side. I just fill up a wash basin with some water and a little bit of Thieves Cleaner from Young Living. And that helps that paint to come off. Now, if I had enough room, I could set that over to the side and brayer it onto another piece of paper. I don't want this paint that's in this outer areas. So I'm just going to grab a wet paper towel and clean this up just a little bit. I don't want it to smear around when I get later on and I have to wait for the leaves to dry before I put the next layer of paint so this kind of helps fill that void if you're ever gel printing and you just can't quite figure out why it's not working more than likely you're not waiting long enough for the paint to dry it's possible that you have too much paint so just take your time don't get in a rush and then you'll soon see that you have great gel prints all right well i'm going to finish cleaning this up i'm going to let this dry and then i'll come back this has been sitting for a while so it's dry and you want to make sure that there's not any shiny spots reason being is when you put your next layer of paint down it will smear that first layer you also want to make sure that you didn't use too much paint in that first layer because then it'll be too thick and it will have higher spots that'll be thicker and so it may not react as right so you just got to take your time be slow about it now what i'm going to do is i want to fill in the background area so i thought in this case it's kind of a beginning of a fall day that's a little bit dreary outside so we've got a blue the other colors was red yellow and orange so this time i'm using morning blue just a small amount of it and i've got charcoal it's a gray color so we're just going to a little bit of that down as well and we're going to brayer this all out over the whole image and again, you don't want too much paint. If you do have too much, use a scrap of paper to brayer it off over to the side. I will lift the tree stencil off and that'll leave this void. And we're going to let this layer of paint dry and then we'll come back and fill in the tree and lift this print. The blue gray is pretty much dry i see a one little spot that may be just a little bit damp but i think for the most part it is dry now it's been several minutes that i let this set so again if you're doing this layering process give it some time you know put down a layer of paint 
fussy cut some images, watch a television series. No, not the whole series. <laughs> but give it some time to dry before you move to the next layer. So now what I want to do is I want to fill in where the tree is and I want to coat the whole gel plate area so I can lift it. I've got a darker brown. This one's called espresso. So I'll put a little bit of this down and I've got a lighter brown. This is called moccasin. So we'll put a bit of that down and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of paint in the other areas too, that brown. And I'm adding just a touch of red, not a lot. Kind of give that tree trunk, it'll give it a, a multi-color. So I'm going to spread this around and then I'm going to go ahead and go over the whole plate. Well, this bottom portion anyway. And what that's going to do is reactivate those layers of paint. You don't want to brayer it too much or your paint will start lifting. All right, I think I've got enough. Now I'm just going to grab just some copy paper and we're going to do this print. I'm just rubbing the whole area down so it'll attach to the gel plate. And then I've got a scrap of paper here that I'll use around the edges to lift the paint around the edges. All right, so I've lifted all the paint around the edges. This will be something that I can use later on. I've shown other tutorials where I will clean up my gel plate on the edges and then I'll use this to make something. All right, so I'm going to slowly lift. Thicker paper is better because it won't uh, separate and peel. Oh, I like how this turned out. And there is my gel print. It was a long process, but I really like the results. And if you fold this in half, you'll have this page as your journal page, and you'll have this as a journal page that you can use. You could also cut it up. You could tear it up. You could use it for other projects. Well, I hope this kind of gives you a quick idea of how to use a layered stencil, multi-piece stencil to do a layer gel print. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, check the description box for the uh, products that I use, the gel plate, the brayer, and of course the October Stencil Club. Do check out my Facebook groups, Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, as well as by Linda Israel. And I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time where we make junk journals. And on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. I have a premiere recorded video that you can come and hang out in the chat with this and ask questions while you see the recorded video. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Have fun gel printing. Bye.